so you could have all the information you need to duplicate yourself on a micro dot. Well, uh, so but the question is, there's no, we can get the data, it's turning it back into something is the problem. I'm gonna get it from scratch. It's interesting. Now let's see. Like, Cruz already set up. Gelatin. The way it got me longer before it. The idea of being able to use inks, for example, that are alive. Um, is really what takes this to the next level, that what is coming out of the printer is, is alive exactly when we print it, it's alive when we grow it in the incubator, and it's alive when it goes in the patient. sounds kind of, it does sound science fiction and it does sound crazy but when you actually think about the medical applications to it I it's helping someone instead of just putting an artificial piece of metal or plastic into someone's body you're actually helping them use their own cells to make a body part which I think is a fantastic a fantastic opportunity for medicine Just more broadly, uh, this is could be the, the really the first example of how we can use um, tissue engineering technology and medical imaging together to make custom implants for patients. So what we're seeing here in blue is the 3D image of the ear that we've obtained from the head scan. And we take that 3D image of the ear and we embed it in a, in a virtual block, essentially, and then cut into parts for the mold. And these are the molds that we then use to make the, the uh, molded implants. I was feeling it. 